Tonight, two Houston firefighters had to jump out of the second story of a home after someone pointed a gun at them. That man now charged and Houston's mayor says he's grateful it didn't end up being worse. ABC 13's Nick Notario is live in Southwest Houston where the way this happened. He joins us with the latest on those firefighters condition tonight. They won't be back at work tomorrow, but they are at home recovering. What started as a routine medical call to this apartment co complex quickly turned dangerous. What was supposed to be just an ambulance at this complex turned into several police vehicles Saturday night. Originally, two firefighters responded to a medical emergency at the Ashford Buena Vista apartments. In a news conference hours later, Mayor John Whitmire explained how the response quickly changed. It became violent when the person recovering from a seizure was frightened and loaded his pistol. They saw it and they jumped off a second story balcony. The firefighters bolted from the second story from this apartment. That's when they contacted police. The man with the gun was arrested and the firefighters were rushed to the hospital after suffering several injuries. A broken collarbone, bruises, um, lacerations, but the good news is they're alive today, they're with their families today, and they are ready to serve. Jaime Marquez is charged with two counts of aggravated assault against a public servant a charge Chief Samuel Pena wanted to see. Pena told ABC 13 he wasn't aware of the mayor's news conference, but on social media, he says the incident was outrageous and inexcusable. Houston Firefighters Union President Marty Langton stood by the mayor after speaking to the injured firefighters. The biggest thing uh, that they told me was, you know, they were scared. Uh, you know, firefighters uh, have emotions and feelings too, and they've got families, and it's a situation you don't expect. Uh, but the credit goes to them. Marquez remains behind bars. He's due back in court later this week. Leaders aren't sure why firefighters had a gun pointed at them. I'm grateful that we're standing here and we're talking about them recovering and, and not the alternative. Injuries they can recover from, which leaders say is a lot better than the alternative. Nick Notario, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.